Everyone keeps asking me how I set up local DNS entries. Well, it's simple. I use Pi-hole, and here's how we're gonna do it. First, we'll do an NS lookup to see what our machine name is on the network. Now, it looks like that doesn't have a name. That's not good. We probably can't ping it either. Well, we can fix it, and it's super easy. First, we'll go into Pi-hole, then we'll go into local DNS. From here, we'll see two options. One for DNS records, or A records, and one for C names, or aliases. An A record maps to an IP address, just like YouTube.com maps to an IP address. And an alias maps to an existing record, so that you don't have to duplicate records. Now, that might be confusing, but let me show you how it works. So we'll go into DNS records, and let's create a new record for juno.home.lan. That will be a machine on my network, and we'll map it to the IP address of 192.168.0.100. Now, we should be able to add this record and see it in the list of our local DNS entries, and after that, we can do an NS lookup and see our machine, which resolved to the IP address that we set. And we can also do a reverse lookup by typing in host and then our IP address. And this responds with the DNS entry that we created. And now on to aliases. Now remember, I said aliases point to existing records. So when would you use this? Well, let's say for example, our server name is Juno, the one we just created, and we're running services like Plex and Portainer on that server. We can create an alias now that points to that record so that we can refer to our services by their name. And that way, we don't have to create multiple records. So let's do that real quick. So we'll create a C name for Plex, plex.home.lan, which points to juno.home.lan. And we can do the same thing for our Portainer alias. We'll have this pointing at juno.home.lan also. And now that we have that, we should be able to do an NS lookup by our new alias. And if we look up Plex, we can see our IP address is 192.168.0.100. And the same goes for our Portainer alias. So now we have two aliases pointing to one record. And where this comes in handy is if our A record changes, now both aliases will update too. So let's go back into our local DNS and let's change this record. Let's say that juno.home.lan now has a new IP address. Let's say it now points to 192.168.0.200. And if we do an NS lookup for our Plex record, it's now pointing to that new IP address. And the same goes for our Portainer alias. It now maps to the same IP address. And so you can see how powerful aliases are now. You don't need to create multiple records to point to the same IP address. If a host name is mapped to a server, you then can map your service names to that host name. And that's how powerful DNS and aliases are. And this is exactly how I manage my DNS in my home lab. And so now you have no excuse not to run DNS in your own home lab. Because when you run into problems, it's always DNS. If you found anything in this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.